Never Stop Learning, week 223. We're going to take a quick look at a line of pixel grid and how it deals with strokes in Adobe Illustrator CC 2015. So a big shout out to Hannah Messer. She's the one that suggested I create a video on this, so thank you for that. Now, this is a tip that's going to help you troubleshoot a problem you might be having in your document. Now, here I've created a blank document using the web profiles that ship with Adobe Illustrator. So I'm going to create a basic path just using the line segment tool. Click and drag, hold down shift. Now, over here in the top, I'm going to switch this value over to 25.5. All right, once I accept that change, notice it jumps up to 26 points. So why is this happening? Over here in the window menu, I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to look for the transform panel. Click on that once, that's going to bring out the transform panel for you. Take a look at the bottom section of the transform panel. Right here we have access to this option, Align to Pixel Grid. Now because I use that web profile, by default this option is already turned on for me. Alright, if you don't see the bottom section of the transform panel, come over here to the top, you see this double arrow, click on it, and every time you click on it, it's either going to show you more information or take some of it away. Over here in the flyout menu, you can hide your options or you can show your options. Now that I have the options visible, I'm going to uncheck this box. And when I come back over here into the control panel, I'm going to switch this over to 25.5 and accept that change. Notice it remains at 25.5. All right, so now that you get how that works, I'm going to create a new document. And here we have the profile set to web. Now these profiles have been shipping with Adobe Illustrator for a while, so even though I'm in the Creative Cloud right now, you might have access to the same web profile on your machine, even though you're using an older version. All right, take a look down here at the bottom where it says Advanced. We have this option here, Align New Objects to Pixel Grid. By default in this profile, this option's already turned on for us. All right, I'm gonna come back to the top, Click on this little drop down menu, and because I'm in the Creative Cloud, I have access to this new profile, which is Basic RGB. I'm going to choose this one, and notice under Advanced, Align New Objects to Pixel Grid is not checked. I'm going to click OK to accept that, and now I just want to draw out a new path again. All right, back over here in the top, I'm going to switch this over to 25.5, and it's going to remain at that exact value. Back over here in the transform panel, notice align to pixel grid is not checked. Well, keep an eye on that stroke value. I'm about to turn this guy back on, all right? So one, two, and three. Now that I turned it on, notice it jumped up to 26 points. Now what it's doing is it's rounding up to the nearest point. And that's really helpful if you're designing a website or some sort of user interface. Basically, any time that you need your artwork to be pixel perfect. All right, because I'm just creating something artistically, I really don't need it to be that exact. I would rather it just allow me to enter in whichever value I want. All right, so back over here in the transform panel, if I uncheck this box and then come back over here and switch this to 25.5, now it's going to remain at that value. So there you have it, folks. That's a quick look at a line of pixel grid and how it deals with strokes in Adobe Illustrator CC 2015.